Dear children, do you remember the memory verse? Did you learn it? If yes, please share it with us by taking a video of the memory verse recitation and email it to us at thewaybibleschool at gmail.com or lowercase. Did you like the story that was shared to you? If you did, please tell it back to us in the form of storytelling by taking a video of it and sending it to thewaybibleschool at gmail.com or lowercase. Thank you. Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. Today we are going to learn about personal integrity. Psalm 37 and verse 27 Turn from evil and do good. We should be righteous in all our ways. God is watching us always. There lived two brothers, David and Daniel. They play together, they share their toys together. But one day, David and Daniel fought against each other. And David st stole some of his brother's toys and hid them. The next day, the Sunday school, their Sunday class teacher was teaching them about personal integrity. She told them that God is watching us always. Even though if your parents are not watching us, God is watching us. On hearing these words, David accepted that God watched him steal his brother's toys. Then he realized that he, had, he, he was not hidden. The act of stealing was not hidden. He went home and repented that he had taken away some of his brother's toys and he returned those toys to his brother. Similarly, as children, we should always remember that God is watching us. We cannot go away from the sight of the Lord at any time. We'll see another example from our Holy Bible from the life of Cain and Abel. God created Adam and Eve. He made them live in the beautiful garden of Eden. But there they disobeyed God and sinned against him. Then God sent Adam and Eve out of the garden of Eden. Years rolled by and God blessed Adam and Eve with two sons, Cain and Abel. Cain was a farmer and he cultivated the land. Abel was a shepherd and he took care of the sheep. One day, Cain and Abel decided to offer offerings to the Lord. Cain being the farmer, he brought the fruits of the ground as offering to the Lord. And Abel brought sheep to the Lord. But Abel was very careful to choose the offering. He selected the best out of his flock. He chose the firstborn the fat and the healthy cattle of his flock to bring as offering to the Lord. See, as children, when we take offering to the Lord, we should always be careful to select, to give the best thing to our Lord. Now, the Lord watched both of them and the Lord was happy and pleased with the offering that Abel had brought. The Lord accepted Abel and his offering. The Bible says the Lord did not accept Cain's offering. On seeing that the Lord did not accept his offering, the Cain became angry and jealous on his brother Abel. One day when Abel was alone in the field, Cain went and killed his own brother Abel. Cain thought that nobody watched him, but he was wrong in his assumption. Yes, our Lord was watching Cain. The Lord called Cain and asked him where his brother is. He, Cain now replied, Lord, I am not a watchman to my brother. I do not know where he is. The Lord got very angry on Cain. The Lord punished Cain. 
He sent him out of the family. The Lord then made Cain wander around the earth. As children, we should always think that God is watching us. If we do something wrong, God will surely punish us. So we should always ask forgiveness to the Lord if we do something wrong. We should always remember that even if our parents or relatives or friends or grandparents, even if they do not watch us, God is always watching us. God is mindful of us. He, we should always do good. We should always be good. If we do wrong, God is always watching us and will punish us. But if we do good, God will surely bless us. Shall we pray? Our loving Father, we thank you for this day, Lord Jesus. We thank you that for helping us to learn from the life of Abel and Cain. Help us to remember that you are watching us always. Help us to be faithful to you all through our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear children, I hope you enjoyed your classes today. I believe that you have learned something valuable and you were more wiser than before. Yay! We request you to please join us tomorrow again at 11 a.m. on the Way Bible Schools channel to enjoy this camp. Don't miss fun. We remind you again to please subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends and families. See you tomorrow. Children, many people will have a secret life and they do secret things which are not acceptable before God. But a person who lives with integrity will always be honored by God. I hope you learned in today's lesson that a personal integrity is something which you choose to do right thing even if no one was watching around you. Yes. I also believe that you're becoming wiser day by day with our Walk with Wisdom series. Let's pray together over this commitment. Prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to your throne of grace, O oh Father Lord. Thank you for this wonderful teachings through this Walk with Wisdom series. Help me to be a person who lives with integrity and maintains integrity, whatever it is, O oh Father Lord. Help me to overcome that desire to do secret things when no one is watching me. Father, help me to be a person who lives pure before your sight. I want to walk with wisdom in my life and want to live a pure and holy life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.